Welcome back, guys, to my favorite places right here in Sri Lanka. Today, we are in Ratnapura. Ratna, Ruan, Menk are all Sinhalese words that describe one very precious, shiny thing, gems. So Ratnapura here literally translates into city of gems. Marco Polo, in his records, wrote about this island, that it was the world's finest producer of sapphires, topazes, amethysts, and other precious stones. In the fourth and fifth century, traders on their naval vessels from all over the world came right here to this island, seeking the bling and the glitter of these precious stones. Overnight, poor farmers who found precious stones in their paddy fields literally became millionaires. Today, as we are here in Ratnapura, the city of gems, I will take you below the surface of the soil into a gem mine to experience a little bit about the operation and the hardship and passion that goes into this industry. All right, guys, these people here are gem dealers. And this place right here in the middle of Ratnapura, man, is like a stock exchange. I tell you, these guys' pockets and bags are full of precious stones. Let's check out one of them. This is a sapphire crystal. It's a blue sapphire, raw, just as it coming out of the mine. Whether you want raw stones or cut stones, these people are the people to come to, right? And hey, Ratnapura is the city of gems. So no wonder you have so many people here on the street selling their precious stones. Wholesale, retail, whatever you want. So if you come to Sri Lanka and you want some gems, sapphires, yellows, blues, or whatever, man, Ratnapura is the place to come. I told you I'm gonna take you to a gem pit and show you a little bit on how these stones are mined. So let's hit back on the road and check it out. Let's go. So here I am, smack down in the middle of the paddy field. You're gonna go, wait a minute, he talked about a gem mine, now he's in the paddy field. You think I'm gonna take you for a picnic with the farmers again? No, nah, not today. Today we're getting ready to take you deeper on the ground. Here in the Ratnapur area, the gem pits or gem mines are not found in caves or rocks or anything like this, but smack down in the middle of paddy fields like this. You can see the rice harvest has just been cut. And a few meters in front of me is a gem pit, which literally is very rudimental. And all it is, is pretty much a big hole in the ground. So let's check out the gem pit and get ready as I take you deep around the ground to go gem mine. Follow me. All right, guys, this gentleman right here is Lalit. And Lalit is the owner of this mining operation right here. He not only can tell us about the mining processes, but also about the lives of these people. One question that I've always wanted to know, whether these people are actually farmers or miners, since they own both the paddy fields and the mines. Talit Matya, Matya, ek prashne akti na. Ogulo govi yode, natang manikar yode. Govi, padana govi, devono manikar. Pata kapa. Padana govi ta. Take a moment. 
What he says is their number one business was and always will be the farming because he said, man, when you have a paddy field, one thing you're always assured is that you have a rice harvest to feed your family and to sell the rest to have some money in hand. Here in the area, it's like the lottery. If you actually dig a hole in your paddy field and find gems, well, that's a diversification of your business and it's pretty much like hitting the jackpot. And Lalit here is one of the lucky people who hit the jackpot. So he'll tell us a little bit about how these gems are mined and we'll take you on the ground and see what it looks down there, meters and meters under the soil of the island. First of all, I want to know what the tools and resources are. So, um, I don't want to buy it. You don't want to buy it? I don't want to buy it. You don't want to buy it? I don't want to buy it. So he says there are about 12 miners at this moment on the ground. It's very rudimental. As communications, they use a tube, which is kind of their telephone system. They have a pump that pumps out the water. And for light, what do they use? Candlelight. Fifteen stories below the surface of the island. Darkness surrounds us, lit only by candle lights. Down here, the right rock tells the fate of fortune or failure. Each one of the stones is carefully examined before being packed in bags and hoisted back to the surface. So basically it says, every day is a new gamble. You never know what you're going to find. Sometimes you bring up useless stones. Sometimes you bring up valuable pieces, some big, some small. So every day, it's a new gamble. He's smiling, he's smiling. Oh my God, look at this. I don't know, I'm not an expert on gems, but I definitely know there is some serious dollars in here. These are sapphires, as fresh as they get out of the mine. Yellow ones, blue ones, turquoise ones. The only place where you find the best sapphires in the world is <laughs> right here on my favorite island of Sula. And hey, last but not least, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking here. And also do activate the notification bell so that you know when we uploaded a new clip. If you like our content, please also feel free to share it on your social media.